everybody out here. So I decided to bring my car down to Steeda headquarters in Pompano Beach to put the stopped hop kit in. Uh, it was a, it was an easy decision for me. I've been buying stuff from Steeda going way back to even 1988 when Steeda first became a company. Uh, Steeda, I remember they they uh, they hit the scene with Fox Body Parts. I remember buying three core brass radiators, you know, for the, for the Fox Body underdrive pulleys and triac shifters and things like that. So uh, when it came time to find a reputable shop uh, to do the work on this 18 Mustang. Steeda basically is uh, is one of those companies you, you can't go wrong. I mean, there's lots of good companies out there, but you definitely can't go wrong with Steeda. So uh, I had a good time down at the shop. I've got a lot of footage and uh, I'm really looking forward to bringing it to you. Now, uh, this guy, Matt, that's working on the car, uh, he's an ASC certified mechanic. And uh, man, this guy really knows his stuff. I, I gotta tell you, um, spending the day with him down at Steeda, uh, I know a lot more about these cars now than I did when I first got there. So enjoy the video and uh, you'll see part two uploaded in the next couple of days. Beautiful sunrise here in sunny southwest Florida, but it's really not southwest Florida. We're in central Florida right now, headed over to the east coast. How you doing? Hi. Careful, the ink's still, still wet. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> What's happening, everybody out here? Coming right at you from East Coast, Florida. That's right, we're at Steeda headquarters in Pompano Beach, Florida. We got something going on in here, so let's go inside and check it out. Good How's it going? Good, is Rodney around? I'm not in the car yet, should be here any minute. Okay. Sit tight. Okay, you got it. You are? Brian. Brian, nice to meet you. How's it going? Good. That's Brian from Steeda. What's Hi, happening, everybody. man? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> All right. All right. We'll wait for Rodney to come. He's not here yet. Yeah, here's some of the products that Steeda's got. You can see the strut tower braces and you know X braces and things like that. Look at all that stuff. All right? Suspension parts. Look at this. A whole IRS component. We're adding it everything. Look at all this stuff in here. All these links and all this cool stuff. A lot of this stuff is going to end up on my car because I'm going to be putting down some big power at some point. Look at that. Rear brakes. Slotted rotors. Really cool. Look at that. I don't know. What is that? An MT82? I don't think so. 3650. Nice looking Steeda shifter on it. Looking pretty cool. So now we're just gonna get the car now and uh, bring it over to the, to the building, meet the mechanic and uh, talk to him a little bit, talk to him about what's going on with the car and uh, get the car up on the lift and get started on this thing. Tighten me here. There we go. Here we are at Steeda. That's my buddy Rodney. <laughs> Very cool, exciting. Well, the car is filthy after driving it over to the East Coast, but we're gonna bring it into the shop. Get some suspension work done to it. That's it. That's my mechanic bringing the car yes, into, the, into the lift. All right, everybody, this is Matt. How's it going, brother? How are you doing? Matt's going to be my mechanic working on the car. Yes, sir. Uh, how's it going? Good. Everything's good. Yeah. So, uh, so we got one of Steeda's Ace Mechanics working on the car. It doesn't get any better than this. That's right. All right, man. Let's have at it. All right. I'm going to move forward. i got to okay. straighten it out real fast. You see, at one point, I took the engine cover off. I put those little covers back on the bolt mountings, and uh, I lost them. They fell off. I don't know what the hell happened, but... Yeah, so we got the car up on the lift. Uh, mechanics working on it. Uh, things are going real well. Uh, we got Matt working on this car, and uh, let me tell you, he's an ace. He's got everything under control. Awesome. It looks like you got the axles out, Matt. Yeah. Wow. It's nice when everything's brand new, huh? Yeah. Get the brakes hung up in there. Nice, get that bungee cord. 
all the stock stuff. I don't know, maybe I need to replace that someday, but. Yes, when the supercharger goes on, yes. These things like the dog bone right here is definitely gonna have to be replaced. The toe link, things of that nature. Very nice. Very cool. Good. Mark left hand and right hand for the action. They look pretty strong. How much, uh, how much power can they have? Um, I didn't look at the box, but these might be like the, <clears throat> The 800 horsepower ones. Yeah. Yeah. That should suit my needs just fine. Really nice. And just like that, the axle's in. You just pop it right in there and see it. You kind of get the splines light up and you know you feel it and then you push it past the snap ring. The snap ring just snaps in. The snap ring piece right here. That's that in the box in the place. And it's awesome. So now you'll just you'll just take this rear spindle and put it back on the splines here, and then cool. start putting everything back together. All right, Matt, I'll let you get back to work. There you have it. She's all buttoned up. That axle is in there, man. Let's get a good look at everything while I have the chance. Yep. Ford racing axles. How we doing on this side? Yeah, there you go. You know the wheel hop was so bad. Uh, I'm afraid that everything is. That looks. Break. That looks new. Yeah, they come with new nuts. You got to retorque them and everything. Nice. Once you take the old ones off, you got to put new ones on. Very cool. Yeah. There it is. Here we are underneath the car. We're gonna do. The differential bushings. We're gonna change. We're gonna put sister up some bushings for these here and here. Right, those guys there. I'm trying to stiffen all of this up. What do we got them on the? Oh, here they are. Yeah. Yeah, these, they kind of just set in. They got the, the little indentions to go here, here, right. and here. So they just kind of fit in there like that. Yeah, they ought to stiffen that up, huh? Yeah, it just fills. It, it fills. You know, all this whole area right here. It fills. This is what this sole purpose is. is is uh -huh. is to you know just fill the void okay sounds good so we're pushing so you know under hard acceleration there takes a lot of the deflection away from the uh you know the carrier the differential that's bolted to this bushing which is adhered to the uh, to the irs that's right, awesome okay. that's what we got yeah, these are, the... and these are your 12 9 upgrades oh yeah that's right yeah these are the their button head 12 9 upgrades they're a lot stronger bolt than the other ones we right, offer. That's good. Yeah, always got to play it safe, you know? That's right. All right, man. For the uh, the rear, the four hole, I mean for the front. One, two, three, four for the four hole. Those are front for the differential. And that's the big spacer also for the front. You can see by the, the depth of that one. And then I've already done these. These are for the rear, the three at the bottom and the one at the top. And see how this one's kind of countered in a little? That yeah. one has a shorter spacer for the rear, the way it, the way it sets up in there. So then there, these are your rears and these are your fronts. That's a good thing I got you doing it for me because I would definitely screw that up. Just got to read the directions. <laughs> Apply some Loctite to the threads of the bolt. That'll do it. <laughs> a little bit off there. <laughs> what happens is when you tighten the bolt, this will the Loctite just you know comes throughout the whole threads, especially on the uh, rear end side, on the differential side, and the bolt will never back out. That's it's good. Torque to spec. Awesome. I'm just running it down. It gets torqued to spec. Beauty of air tools. 
Is that like a, like a, like 150 foot pounds or something like no, that? No, 129. 129. Yeah. Snug them down with the air tool as long as you know, you know, not to go too far. You still have to torque the bolt. They're very difficult. They're, I mean, it's uh, it's not easy when you're doing the 12.9 upgrade also because you have an Allen head bolt compared to a uh, a six point head. So uh, you gotta there you gotta drop the IRS down some to get to them. Yeah. Wow. This is way a higher professional. I want no part of this shit. Hey, look at this. Look at the exhaust system. Oh, yeah. I took that out, too, to drop the IRS. Man. I, you don't often get a good look at these kinds of things. Look at that. Look at those mufflers. Yeah. What's the size of those things? Yeah, they're a monstrosity, aren't they? Comes out in one piece. When the GT350s came out with the plastic oil pan, of course it came with this, you know, it's a, it's threaded and it has an O-ring and it just pushes in and locks in place because of these pieces here and here. And um, I think on the GT350s, I'm not sure, but it had a, a uh, um, what is it, a 3 8 a 3 8 head to it where you use the 3 8 ratchet to break it loose. And then you could take it out and put it back in. I'm not sure. It might have just had this. How do you, you just open this one? you just twist it off. Oh, okay. It just twists off. That's all. And that's specific to the 18. Yeah. You could the 17 to the Yep. The 18. They started the uh, plastic oil pan along with the uh, plastic transmission pin. They went away wow. from the metal. They're doing everything they can do to get, make it lighter, I guess. Right. Yeah. Right, that's awesome. Well, it's also it helps with uh, heat too. Oh, okay. Heat transfer from the oil to the pan. Right. Metal, of course, holds a lot more heat, which transfers more heat into the pan itself. I mean, metal holds a lot more heat, which sure. transfers it into the oil right. of the transmission fluid in the oil in the motor itself. So plastic we'll is able, as yeah, right? as as air blows across it, it's able to dissipate the heat a little bit better than the, uh, than the metal oil pan. That's pretty the cool. Transmission and the uh, motor. That's something you get to see every day. Yeah, so there you can see behind me there, the axles. Uh, these are the axles that we took out. I figured I'd get them out of there before we break them. Sooner or later, they're gonna go. It's uh, it's not not good to leave them in there. So take the stock stuff out, put the new stuff in. So uh, this is the front, the you know the front IRS insert uh -huh. with the uh, 12 9 upgrade button head bolt. Right. With an Allen, and in order to get these. It's a pain in the butt because they're so far up there, and to do it right, you got to torque this to 35 foot pounds. Oh wow! And you got to drop the IRS down, and I got to drop it all the way down to here, so I'm able to get the torque wrench on it because this is a uh, yeah. button. Head, you know, it's an Allen head bolt, so you got to get an Allen head socket in it in order to torque it. Yeah, that's tight. You know, it's not just a six point headed bolt where you could make something work. You know, like an open end wrench with a half inch, right, you know, right. hex on the end to tighten it. So. 
right way of doing it is I drop the whole IRS down far enough in order to tighten it. So it's a bit, it's a pretty big job, but that's a, it is what it is. It's yeah. tight in there. But that's the right right way of doing it. Oh, you're a man. I mean, that, that's something that I definitely would not want to do in the garage. No, no doubt about it. <laughs> not me either. <laughs> All right, everybody, so that concludes part one of the Stop the Hop installation uh, series that I got going here. Uh, I got to say that uh, I had a really great time uh, down, you know, being down at Steeda. Uh, like I said earlier, I've been buying parts from the, those guys for decades. Uh, somewhere in the 90s, I don't remember exactly when it was, I remember calling Steeda for something. And uh, I actually spoke to Rodney. Uh, you see him in the video. He's a really cool guy. Uh, he um, was my salesman throughout the whole process. Uh, I called Steeda. You know, spoke to him for a little while. He sent me emails. We went back and forth. Uh, the customer service was great, and uh, it was just an excellent experience. So, um, so part two uh, is uh, probably better than part one. There's a lot more uh, more things for Matt to do in the car. So I should have that uploaded in the next couple of days. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.